Fleisch? Guards! Yes, my king. Summon all the wise men of the palace, the diviners and astrologers. Bring them to me. Now! At once, my king. What does it mean? Why can't you help me? Bowling is a serious sport. Chris, I've got way too much to do right now. I, I have to put up these flyers for the girls' leadership food drive. I I've got a ton of homework. I'm behind on my chores. And if this plan doesn't bloom, my science project will be ruined, and the whole class will never understand the carbon cycle. And don't forget cello practice. Oh, I've got a recital next week. I don't know how I'm going to get all this stuff to school. Oh, I will give you a hand with that. Six of them. I call them octogiz. That would be eight arms. Well, I'm counting the legs. Problem solved. Technology makes everything easy. Whoa! Oh, no! no. <laughs> hey, have you got any games on this? <laughs> Guys, you're just making this worse. And I know how to make it better. Ditch the science project, blow off the recital, and say the dog ate your homework. What? You want me to lie? No, lying's wrong. <sighs> so is this! <sighs> Get back here! <sighs> Bella, stop! Let me bag you! Can <sighs> I get my hands on you? <sighs> Come here, Bella! <sighs> Guys, a little help! Dog catcher to the rescue! <laughs> this pooch is going downtown to Doggy Town. Get him, Giz! Oh, the old puppy roll and run trick. Not happening. Gotcha! All right, no more dog on the loose. This is just so wrong in so many ways. Better planning could optimize your productivity. The average human spends eight hours each day engaging in a single non-productive activity. Hey, I like watching TV. I was talking about sleep. I'm already not getting any sleep. <laughs> just go. Leave me alone. I'm smart enough to solve my own problems without help from anybody. I am taking you to meet a truly wise man. One who knows where to find the solution to any problem. Where are we, Gizmo? My cuneiform is a little rusty, but I would say Babylon around 600 BC. Oh. <laughs> ah, hello. You must be the new servants. <laughs> uh, very new, I would say. Oops. Uh, yeah, like two seconds ago. Yes, and we're sorry about uh, uh, all this. We didn't mean, I, I mean, we... <laughs> 
don't be nervous. We can clean it up together. I was more than a little nervous when I first came to the palace. Oh, uh, um, when was that? I was one of a group chosen to serve King Nebuchadnezzar. We study night and day, until we've acquired all the knowledge of Babylonia. Wow. Do you ever feel like it's just, you know, too much? <laughs> Many times. But my friends and I serve among the wise men of the palace, in positions of honor. So it's worth all the hard work. Come meet them. I am Daniel, and this is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Watch out for Daniel, children. He'll keep you working all night. <laughs> Whatever we do, don't tell Daniel. Oh, uh, 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 uh Daniel, uh, the king... The king went to bed hours ago. So why should you Judeans work so late into the night? You should go home and rest. Are you not working late? We're on our way to consult the stars. We have to do it at night. You can't argue with that. You three, help us carry our tools. Uh, sure. I'm up for some stargazing. Why didn't you tell Daniel that the king has summoned all his wise men? Why should he get a chance to earn the king's favor? We don't need these Judeans and their one god. Bow before King Nebuchadnezzar! I have had a dream that deeply troubles me. I must know what it means. Long live the king. Tell us the dream, and we will tell you what it means. I am serious about this. If you don't tell me what my dream means, you will be torn limb from limb, and your houses will be turned into heaps of rubble. But if you tell me what I dreamed, and what the dream means, I will give you many wonderful gifts and honors. Just tell me the dream, and what it means. Please, your majesty, tell us the dream, and we will tell you what it means. I know what you are doing. You are stalling for time, because you know I am serious when I say, if you don't tell me the dream, you are doomed. So, you have conspired to tell me lies, hoping I will change my mind. But tell me the dream, and then I'll know you can tell me what it means. But no one on Earth can tell the king his dream. And no king, however great and powerful, has ever asked such a thing of any magician, enchanter, or astrologer? The king's demand is impossible. No one except the gods can tell you your dream, and they do not live here among people. Is that what you all say? Yes. yes my king, king, this is king, how we must Then all of you will die. <laughs> but, your majesty... You heard my order. Every wise man, diviner, and astrologer in the palace, kill them all. You heard my order. Every wise man, diviner, and astrologer in the palace, kill them all. Guys, Daniel and his friends were kept out of this meeting, but the king said all the wise men are to be killed. We've got to warn them. <laughs> you heard the king's order. <laughs> He must be hiding somewhere. Oh. 
What the king is asking is impossible. Come with me to the library. We'll find Daniel there. We have to stop them. Oh, I've got this. And she said my new Hollow Nine bowling game was a waste of time, huh? Watch this. <laughs> Meet us at the library. <laughs> There's one of them. <laughs> Come on. Lost him again. You go that way. You double back to the throne room. And I'll check the main corridor. <sighs> Daniel! You have to get out of the palace! The king's ordered all the wise men executed! Do not be afraid, child. Daniel, what should we do? Take these two and wait for me at my house. You have to come with us! They'll kill you! The Lord will protect me. <gasps> Daniel! Why has Nebuchadnezzar ordered you to kill his wise men? If you know what I must do, Daniel, why aren't you afraid? Why is the decree from the king so urgent? The king is desperate to know the meaning of his dream, but he refuses to describe it. I will speak to the king. King of Kings, I ask that you give me time to learn the secrets of your dream. Do you think you have greater powers than all the other wise men and diviners? No, I do not have the power. But I will call to God, and He will answer. The king has stopped the executions until morning. Great! By morning, you can be miles away. I've got the perfect plan. We disguise the four of you as two horses, and you walk right past the guards. Or gallop. Even if we could escape, there are men facing execution. If we can interpret the king's dream, then everyone will be saved. Maybe you can figure out what the king would dream about. I mean, before a big test, sometimes I dream that I show up in class totally unprepared. Maybe the king had a dream about speaking to the class. In his underwear. <laughs> you don't want to listen to her. She can't even solve her own problems. Hey! This is our problem, children, and we know how to find the answer. Remember the words of the prophet Jeremiah? Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Lord, we need your help. Please hear our words. The king has asked us to divine his dream and its meaning, a seemingly impossible task. But for you, Lord, nothing is impossible.
Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. Chris, wake up! He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and it? secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, They're and light praying? dwells with him. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers. Take me to the king, and I will explain the meaning of his dream. Can you tell me my dream and what it means? Your Majesty, not even the smartest person in all the world can do what you are demanding. But there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets. And while you were sleeping, he showed you what will happen in the future. Your Majesty, what you saw standing in front of you was a huge and terrifying statue. This image, huge and dazzling, towered before you, fearful to behold. Its head was made of gold. Its chest and arms were silver, and from its waist down to its knees, it was bronze. From there to its ankles, it was iron, and its feet were a mixture of iron and clay. As you watched, a stone was cut from a mountain, but not by human hands. The stone struck the feet, completely shattering the iron and clay, and swept away like chaff before the wind until no trace remained. But the stone became a tremendous mountain that covered the entire earth. Was that really the dream? How would I know? And the meaning of the dream? <sighs> Why does it fill me with dread? Because you, O oh King of Kings, you are that head of gold. After you, there will arise another kingdom, and then a third, and then a fourth, as strong as iron. During the time of those kings, the god who rules from heaven will set up an eternal kingdom that will never fall. He's told Nebuchadnezzar that his kingdom will fall. Now I know that your God is above all other gods and kings because he gave you the power to explain this mystery. I will make you chief of all my wise men and governor of the province of Babylon. The work will be better done, my king, if these good men govern beside me. It will be as you wish. Oh, 
I wish Superbook could have brought us back after my cello recital and the science fair. Sometime next summer would be nice. You can get all this stuff done. Chris! Ugh, now look what you did! Oh, do not worry, Joy. I can... Uh-oh. Ah! Ow! Ow! Just get out! I can take care of everything Boy, myself. I don't need okay, anyone's help. Yes, especially the help you do it! You just... Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, Bella, what am I going to do? Lord, we need your help. Please hear our words. God, I'm... I've got so much to do, and I, I don't know how I'm going to do it all. Do you really think God will hear you? I'm sure he will, just like he did for Daniel. And he can tell me things I can never find out on my own. that you can watch for free! Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. 
Plus, an easy to understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon.